Yeah, I want to go over a couple reasons why you should probably get some of the Rife technology that's uh, very affordable now. Um, I'm going to state that, you know, it's been known for quite some time that, I, you know, they've been using the pad type Rife machines. If you don't know what that is, it's basically like a square wave frequency generator that in certain frequencies are, it's been known, they've, they've been pretty pretty effective. I mean, it may not cure a serious disease, but uh, they've been known to actually knock down some pathogens. But uh, it looks like the technology's gotten a hell of a lot better. Uh, I'm going to make a couple comments about some things because uh, this might be a absolute necess necess necessity in the future because of what's happening in um, with the antibiotics. The uh, thing is, with um, well, what's going on now, there's becoming a lot of... Um, strains of bacterium and viruses and things like that that are becoming very much um, uh, you know resistant to antibiotics it's something that's coming about from overuse of antibiotics and also giving antibiotics to livestock and it's going into the food food chain and so in other words if they give livestock a lot of antibiotics what happens is um, they become resistant to it after a while. New new strains come about that are more resistant. So it, there's a fear, and this is from the World Health Organization. You know, it's probably something where, you know, in my mind sometimes I think a lot of times these things are overblown because it creates more. Uh, and you need more money for something, right? It's just like if you don't have a problem, there's uh, no ex no excuse for somebody to exist, I guess, right? But anyway, um, I just want to put out that, you know, it's like there's new strain. This is actually mainstream stuff. I mean, it's mainstream stuff. It's been, you know, I have an article in front of me that's it's pretty recent that um, basically talks about anti antibiotic resistance could set medicine back a century went to a time when they used to do amputations because of infections, infections that are so resistant to drugs. They used to not be resistant to them, but they are now. So maybe the answer is using frequencies. Maybe the answer is that. Now, um, I'm not going to make any claims on how effective some of the devices are, but I'm going to state one thing, that the devices, even the simple zappers, do some stuff. Now, I know there's been a lot of claims in the past about simple, zap, simple zappers being a cure-all. That is that is really BS to the max. There's, they are somewhat effective, though. They do do things. They're, they're a lot of times they're worth the money because they're very inexpensive. But this thing, I you know, I was talking about is the uh, Spooky Rife machine is actually well worth the money, more so than a Zapper is. Um, it's ridiculously affordable. I'm probably going to have a few of them actually with um, two pairs of remote holders. Now I went over the uh, <laughs> the uh, concept of using um, the remote. Um, rife treatment, whatever it is, uh, if you want to call it that. Now, I still can't get my head wrapped around how this works, but uh, I tried something, and I says, you know, vision to improve, and I says, I, I can't deny it was working then, so I was like, whatever, man. So, <laughs> you know, I'm going to say, <laughs> you know, it's a little bit uh, out there for me, too, you know, in my mind, because uh, I'm not a person that believes in a lot of things like, uh, you know, there's people that put out, not to knock this too much, but there's people that put out stories about the web bots, you know, there's people that put out stories about uh, the Palladians from outer space, there's people that put out stories about, I don't know, there's all kinds of garbage, the astrology, you know, you know, I'm not into that stuff, I'm really actually into very hard empirical science, but I'm going to tell you this, Rife, the Rife, this, the work that Royal Rife did, was very hard empirical science. It wasn't something that was, you know, you know, this stuff, some of the stuff, that some of the stuff you see on the internet. But I also want to point out some of the stuff, I'm kind of ad living a little bit here and going off the track a little bit, but I just want to point out some other things that some of the stuff with the frequencies is probably lost knowledge from way back. You know, it may be true that the earth had a catastrophic problem sometime at a and what, there might have been advanced civilizations living on this earth many, many, many thousands of years ago. I know that's 
some theories are out there, but when you look at the pyramids and you look at some of the structures that are, there's actually pyramids all over the world. I don't know what the hell they're for, but you know, if you look at the top, the eight, the apex of the pyramid that that puts out the um, the 33 frequency. Sometimes they call that the Christ frequency, or the uh, it's like a multiple of the Earth frequency, the 7.83 uh, 7.83 hertz. Um, there's probably there's different tones they used to use in the ancient worlds to, to bring about uh, I don't know different healing and things like that. Now I'm not that's not exactly what Rife did or anything, but I'm saying is some of these things where you have to use a chemical antibiotic to you know affect the body is probably not the only method out there. Okay, I mean even people realize that um, you know there's uh, um, good 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 things and good bad things as far as you know like microwaves you know people would have never understood what a microwave was uh, you know it's 100 years ago it seems like space age you know if they, you showed it to them today they think that was space age it would sound crazy how could you cook food in five minutes or whatever you know I'm just giving that as a stupid example but you know some of this stuff that's coming out right now or actually has been out for some time and I wasn't totally aware of it I only knew really about the plasma devices, the radio waves, and the pad type devices for the Rife machine. But this spooky generator does the plasma device. You can use the plasma device if you purchase that separately someplace else, or you can use the plain pad and machine, uh, the pads or the handhelds. And uh, you know, it's got plenty enough voltage to actually work to do some some kind of good. So. Well worth the money, no matter how you slice it. Just want to put it out that way. So, actually, what I'm doing this video on is um, is the settings on a convert sweep and a spectrum sweep that John White just wrote into the program. I'm not doing this like per his, you know, urging or anything like that. He doesn't know I'm doing this, but I think he's uh, one of the few sincere people out there, and. Uh, you know, I'm very good sometimes with my BS detector. You know, maybe it doesn't go off right away, but um, I think he's 110% legit. Um, there's a lot of things that came before along this type of technology. Like Bob Beck used to say that Rife technology didn't work. Now, I know he was telling a lie with that, and I don't know what the deal was, why he was telling a lie with that, but... Um, you know, Holder Clark used to say that she can cure any disease in so many minutes or some garbage. You know, I mean, there's merit to both those people and their devices, but they really went out there and made some extraordinary claims. Now, as far as what Rife did, um, he actually did some stuff that was uh, legit, okay? And so I just want to show this new program he came up with the uh, spectrum sweep and the convert sweep the spooky spectrum sweep and a convert sweep and what the settings are they're simple now that I looked at it I says wow it is simple I'm like duh but you do have to change some settings manually and I just want to put this out so um, I probably have a link on the beginning of this video where you can just fast forward to it to see what the directions are it is simple and actually well, I'll explain to it in a second here it's uh, it's not too difficult at all but the spectrum sweep and the convert sweep should hit every theoretically should hit every pathogen I don't know if it's gonna wipe them out or wipe out what it's supposed to do it should theoretically well actually per like the mathematical calculations and what the oscill oscilloscope is saying it should hit every single pathogen um, I think the convert sweep might be slightly better, but um, you know I'm not 110% sure about that because it says that you must use two DNA holders with the convert sweep. The spectrum sweep says it's preferable that you use two DNA holders. So I guess if you only had one DNA holder, you can use the spectrum sweep. So I'm going to show you the settings on that right now. Okay, again, this is the two DNA holders, and they're both running something right now. This is the generator. And like I said, you can use the generator in a few different modes, either by... Uh, I like, you know, I think the remote mode is legit, even though it's still like... It's, it's almost like I can't believe it, you know, but I think it is legit, because I was testing something with the vision to improve, and I don't know, it work too damn good to me for to ignore it so anyway I'm running right now some frequencies 
and uh, running this one essential oils forgiveness now I just want to point out that when you're running most of the stuff you don't have to change any f settings so I'm going to stop this and you notice when it stops the screen turns to red right which means that puppy down there is red that's my one generator if I click this on it opens up this screen when I start it that turns to green if I close this out it's still running the generator still says green down here it's go right it's pretty simple right green for go you click it on it's still going when I hit stop so if I have two generators there'll be two to be two blocks down there if I have three there'll be three blocks so I stopped it the generator says it's red for stop right it's pretty simple man it's not bad at all but anyway um they have again like you know, I like this idea where you have a proven list. You know, and actually, it's probably the way this is listed in order. I don't know. It's probably like the proven, the bio, the vega, and a consolidated frequency list. The first four are probably the most, I don't know, they're probably, I don't know, they're most, the most uh, well-established. Let me put it to that way. But anyway, um, I'm going to type in the word sweep, and it's going to pull up. Here we have Spooky Convert Sweep, Spooky Convert Sweep, and it's under the custom list, right? So down here, if you look in the notes, it says, you know, waves, sine wave, X96, spectrum 100%. So down here, you got to change it to, it's the sine wave symbol. You just change it to the sine wave. You know, I'm, now I'm looking at it, I'm saying, wow, what, how stupid I was not to realize how the change is. Then you put 96 under the X, just like it states up here. Then spectrum, 100%. That's the spectrum right here. It says spectrum. You change that to 100%. And you notice, see the, uh, this changes the waveform. Then over here, in this block, where it says out to, um, you got to change that, right? So it says um, out to you changing the volts, right? Over here at the, the excuse me, not the volts, the hertz. The volts remains the same. Out to it says out one times minus one. Okay, so you change this to minus one, and here you type in the value three million two five eight one two five. And this remains the same. So that's how you would set the settings for the convert sweep. And it says, um, you know, targets all pathogens, requires a second spooky remote with DNA on out too. Requires, okay? So, I mean, if you're in doubt when you're looking at something on here, just look in this area right here. It's not like... It's, you know, I'm like, you know, I should have freaking looked at this better. And I'm like, you know, here, just read the damn uh, instructions, dummy. That's what I'm talking to myself, right? But anyway, um, Spooky Spectrum Sweep. Now I click this on. You notice the same settings again. Wave equals sign. Wave equals sign. So you left that alone. Again, it's the 96 for under the X value. And then the spectrum is 100%. Now on out one... Uh, out two, it equals out one times instead of minus one, you put 0.25. Okay, and here that goes back, you leave this on zero as it was originally. Now, here it says targets all pathogens for best results, connect a second spooky remote with DNA to out two. So, I guess the advantage of the spectrum sweep is if you want to do a broad range sweep. And you don't have two remotes, you only have one, you, you would use the spectrum sweep. But again, you know, if you're looking at, um, you know, other things in here, sometimes it'll have other notes. Uh, you know, if you just look at the notes, and um, sometimes you'll be looking at some of, the, some of the things will tell you to use the pads versus the DNA. And, you know, there's examples of that in here. Sometimes you'll want to use the pads. And, um, like here it says here, for this, this was converted from the F-165 Altier Robin format, may need duty cycle of 55%. So you would change the duty cycle here to 55%.
but here you would make sure these settings are back to normal so what I would do though you know if you don't remember what the standard stock settings were you would go back to the square wave again and stuff but if you don't remember if say for instance you did your sweep um, the uh, converge sweep or the whole you know where I change all these settings to sine wave what you could do is quit the program and then um, go ahead and uh, you know after you do that go ahead and uh, open it back up and it'll clear all those settings but you know I just change I just change it right now to back to the uh, square wave okay and it, under this say I was gonna run this um, I would uh, it would it says may need duty cycle of 55 percent so go ahead and do it as instructed so and in some cases it says you might want to use here it says chain after you know this a and before you know in other words here this is another you, you want to do two of them in a row just follow the, the directions basically that's all you got to do with this it is fairly simple and once in a while you might find one of these that recommends that you use the pad type device uh, versus using the remote so anyway, I uh, just want to point this out. It actually is very simple. Just follow these directions over here. And if from pretty much everything, you're not going to change any of these settings. So you're better off just quitting the program. If you change some settings, you want to make sure you got everything back to normal. Quit the program, open it back up, and all the settings will be correct. Because most of the time, you do not have to change the settings. But just follow the, uh, the directions and you should be fine.